I'm with Julie Zoller, who has taken over the ITU Council Chairmanship for 2016. She also leads multilateral ICT policy at the U.S. State Department. Julie Zoller, welcome to ITU. Thank you very much. Julie, you've really worked so much with ITU. You've participated in many conferences, like the World Radio Communication Conference. What would you say is the main focus of ITU Council 2016? ITU Council is the governing body between plenipotentiary conferences, and so one of its main focuses is dealing with governance issues. For example, ITU Council this year will approve the rolling operational plans, look at the expenditures and budget, um, review the reports of the internal and external auditing committee and the independent management advisory committee and so on. But ITU Council also deals with matters of substance and one of the most important things this council will do is set up an experts group for the review of the international telecommunication regulations. This is a task given to council by the plenipotentiary conference in 2014. What are the other key areas that will be addressed by ITU Council? Well, ITU often looks at its timeline in the form of world conferences. And as you know, last year we had the World Radio Communication Conference, which was a great success. We allocated spectrum for mobile broadband. We made provisions for the next generation of aviation, unmanned aircraft. We settled spectrum for global flight tracking and made decisions on a number of important satellite issues. ITU Council this year will determine the date and the venue for the 2019 World Radio Conference and also for the WTDC that will take place in 2017. As well, we will discuss preparations for the World Telecommunication Standardization Assembly that takes place later this year. What about gender balance? Is that, is that an area of uh, importance? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm an engineer, and I started working, uh, I, I don't even want to say how, lo how long ago. And gender balance has always been very important to me. When I was on the Radio Regulations Board. You were the first woman to take on the Radio Regulations Board. I was, and in 2006, though, however, there were two women elected, myself and Martine Limadine from France. I was the first woman to chair the RRB, but this year we have, again, a woman chair of the Radio Regulations Board. And you're the third woman to take on ITU uh, Council uh, Chairmanship. Yes, I am. I am. And I'm really grateful to be able to have this opportunity. And one of the things I would say to, to women as they consider their career path and, and their aspirations is look ahead and think about what you would like to be doing. Build the skills and then ask for support for doing it ask to take a chairmanship. That's what I did for the ITU Council. I realized at the 2014 Plenipotentiary Conference that it was the Americas region turn for Council. And so I asked my region if they would support me, and thankfully they did. That's excellent. Uh, there's a global focus on connectivity. Uh, what would you say is the role of ITU in achieving this? IT plays a key role because it's the International Telecommunication Union. And connectivity starts with providing broadband service and internet access to the whole world. The Connect 2020 initiative at the ITU is very important in that regard. It's fully embodied in the strategic plan of the union. And I will also say that my administration is very much in support of connecting the next 1.5 billion. We developed the Global Connect initiative just for that purpose. Julie Zoller, thank you very much and 
congratulations again for the chairmanship of ITU Council. Thank you so much.